All right. Jeez, that's the thing, it's tiny. Interesting. Gotta love that down course. And so the reason why I, you see me go back and forth uh, to the next map to Drosman is because once you do that, the ads will automatically stop shooting and I reset the map. That's pretty much why I like to do that. A lot of people might think it's uh, like, dude, what are you doing? The fight's this way. I mean, like I said, the reason why I cycle myself uh, after upon hitting somebody and I go right back to trust line because it resets the map. So when you come back into this encounter, it's going to be all quiet. You don't have to worry about no ad shit in you.
gotta let those hormones out. Even though they took a nerf, still very uh, strong indeed. Still very strong. I do you this encounter? I always go up here by that little school bus or train or whatever you want to call it. Get the what they call it, the unstoppable is not gonna challenge you. I suggest uh, you always jump up up on top of this little bus or vehicle and just take out the little guys huh that is gonna chase me Where this is supposed to like uh like pick up, right? I wonder why the RB lesson ain't picking up. Where is Dead? Yep, I'm dead. I am dead, bro. Dude, that guy runs so fast, man. I I gotta go to Harbin anyway, cause something don't it don't make sense, right? Cause if I aim down sights, aiming down fusion and rifle and linear fusion rifle. Uh, Stuns them, but how come when I end down sides what the RP list did? Yeah, that's weird, man. Okay, well, that's definitely good to know. I was not expecting that. Okay. Interesting. You know, for being an unstoppable, uh, those guys sure run fast. And you would think, by aiming down, because these are both lion air fusion. Uh, when I aim down sides with this, it lights up, like it's ready to shoot an unstoppable. 
What well, about the Arborist? It doesn't light up. I'm not sure why.
Yeah, I don't know. Say what? Oh, come on. Bad jumper. Yeah, that's kind of supposed to stun what the Arby lives. I mean, they're both lying there. That's weird. Just doesn't... Yeah, lying there. Lying there. Unstoppable fusion and lying there. That doesn't make sense. Where?
Dude, I thought I heard his footsteps coming. That guy's sneaky, bro. <laughs> I mocked the poor guy. That was awesome. Dude, does that guy run fast? Oh, you want a piece of me again? Asta. Yeah, so, okay, so I got, I got Lionier and an Unstoppable Fusion, okay? Now, if you don't want to start, be list is a Lionier alongside the Thread and Needle, which is also a Lionier. But, if you hold down and end down the sights on the Arby list, it don't light up. But if you hold down and, and it down starts on the third of the needle, it lights up. I'm not understanding why. Is it because the Arbulus is a kinetic? Maybe that's why it doesn't uh, respawn? Because like I said, he, I got the catalyst for the Arbulus. That's a kinetic weapon. And it's supposed to be an, an unstoppable uh, fusion rifle. But well, like I said, when when you aim down sights, it, it doesn't light up. But if you aim down sights on the third and needle, it's ready for unstoppable. Yes, yeah. I'm not I'm not sure why it does that. Weird. There we go. Well, 
like whenever you're going up against uh, these little snipers, keep in mind uh, when you do shoot at them, they are going to get aggressive and fire their little boy bombs back. So always make sure you get them in the cover. Keep in mind they do track, so just uh, be careful when, when doing it. Shouldn't have came out of your bubble. I'm gonna see that heavy. I'm gonna try something here. <coughs> Twenty and nine. Not bad. But I think I'd rather use their uh I wish we had some type of taken armor that when we whenever we go into the boy uh doesn't hurt us. I can't really see. Usually I push her up. I'll just take them out from here. Like I said, when I always go up against an overload, you always want to make sure you have a really good cover. If you land every shot. I'm probably gonna end up popping my super right here. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I think I got most of the nuts. I want to. I always want to. You know, to push too much far ahead, because you never know when uh, my knight's gonna be right around uh, the corner. They usually, if they are around the corner, they're usually gonna hide behind that vehicle. Sad to say, I, I think I got a mama.
you doing that, bro? Okay, yep. I got them all. Whenever stunning an uh, unstoppable after you stun him, you want to try to aim for his uh, head. That's where the most damage is at. behind that wall. That's pretty much the most safest spot ever for me. After I shoot this uh, next part, I'm uh, definitely going to have some ads up ahead. I'm gonna stay back as far as possible for that one. Because if you can if you can too close, uh, I'll definitely try to pick you up. You don't want to. Usually uh, the best cover is uh, stay behind the vehicle. I mean, like I said, you don't want to push too far up ahead. I'll definitely start getting pretty aggressive. So my main goal is to get these little ads uh, away from the overload. Uh, once all the ads are pretty much uh, like gone, I could start taking damage on uh, overload itself. The reason why you want to clear out all of the little uh, ads is because sometimes like in the middle of your shot, they could be like standing on the front of the overload and just it makes it easier to get all the little minions so before you have to go for the champion itself.
This guy will usually get in the way of the Centurion. So I'll try to take him down as much as I can. I mean, like I said, you don't want to get too close. But then I'll get super aggressive. Now that he's out of the way, we can now start to focus on the last overload. Like I said, you don't want to push it up too, too close. Then I'll get really uh, aggressive. I mean, a lot of people will do, but uh, me, I'm more of a passive player than anything. Okay, I don't have to I want to hop on the vehicle. You just want to do like non-stop headshots. The more damage you do on this head, the harder damage you put it's going to be. The faster you're gonna melt him. Alright, there we go. Can we come in and wiggle up a little bit? I always like before I actually uh, like run in there, I always jump up in there because you never know if you're gonna have like some of kind of taking to just uh, hiding around the corner. But they definitely gonna like to hide pretty much. Okay, there's the next encounter. Uh, we're gonna have a blight uh, wall blocking this little doorway. I like to stay behind in this little area to the fact that goes. That's where all of the doors come out. Let my grenade do most of the work. Man, that dude moves fast, bro. No kidding. I mean, I could burn this guy with my super real quick, but then I'd have to wait like 10 minutes just to get it back. So I'm just probably... I, I'm probably just going to burn them out with the marker nades. Okay, let's This guy is super aggressive, but as much as I would want to go up to him and finish him, you just never know where he's going to warp, so I just kind of stay back a little bit.
since these guys are just standing like right there, then I'm just gonna burn them all out. <clears throat> did I mean? Did it looks like they were waiting in time, or waiting in line for like a ticket show? Did they just like all grew up together? That's amazing. Super fast. Across here, I want to try to stay as low as possible. So the reason why I come back up to these areas is to the fact because that one ravenous knight tends to like uh, push up the stairs and in your safest place is pretty much like uh, come over here where I'm at or up the stairs. What is where am I gonna add? <clears throat> I mean, like I said, you, you always want to make sure you always stay a little to the ground. That's Dude, that guy snuck up on me. Was not expecting that. That guy was sneaky, bro. Holy moly, yeah, that was scary, man. I'm gonna see where that this guy is at, cause I, I definitely don't wanna run into that guy. Dude, that, that guy was scary. That guy did that again, bro. Dude, that guy straight up warped on me. He's going, yeah, I'm just going to warp on him. Take him out of the game real quick. I was ready for him, though. That was super scary. That's the only time that Revenant will do that. That other one, the main boss, don't really do that. So, don't really have nothing to worry about. But Usually, if you're up here... You could uh, definitely uh, take him out. Wow, that's that's crazy. 
That's twice that guy pushed up on me. Let's see where this guy's at. See where he's out on health. Okay, he's almost done. He's gonna chill on the corner. Dude, yeah, that's crazy to have that knight push up on me twice. Oh wait, dude, I have Arby list, bro. I, dude, I forgot about that. Dude, I can finish it on my... Dude, I totally forgot that Arby this brick shield. Alright. Good job, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. It says that he's immune? Wait, what? That's weird. Said that he has a mean name and he has history and the making. Okay. Definitely gonna need that. Alright.
For this next uh, part, you definitely got to be cautious. You're going to have a uh, snapper constantly hard scoping in you know, two palings, uh, lower edge, and then you got a bunch of uh, throw. They're just like scoping me hard. Usually what I like to do is I like to wait for one of them to go away or I look the other way. Okay, and now that the sniper is down. Okay, now that the sniper is down, uh, you have to be really cautious uh, when trying to come out this door. Uh, because there's going to be uh, two failings uh, constantly and rapidly shoot. Uh, just always take your time when you're going out this door. You got a bunch of throw at the below. Uh, so just always take your time, uh, no rush. Me, I always like wait for them to like a uh, vacate and then I'll get you like a good angle on them. I hate to play it like that but that's my best option. But I'll just wait for this other railing to go away. And if you ever feel like you're running low on like special or heavy, always use your bow. It'll get you uh, ammo back, so... Um, it's pretty much a chill run, you know. I always like to play at this little corner right here. To the fact because... Uh, hold on. Uh, Sergeant Orb. Hey, man. Hats up. What? I saw you. Or less, so I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Hey, yeah, appreciate uh, you stopping by, bro. How's your day? And just to uh, another solo on uh, GM. I just finished uh, a Forerunner solo. Uh, uploading right now. Uh, the solo that I'm doing right now is uh, Arbulus, so well, I'm just uh, taking my time. I'm running uh, Don Chorus to do the fact that it has a very long burn effect uh, on pretty much anything, and it's 
just amazing. It, it, it really is. Hopefully you're having a wonderful new year. I'm doing good. Hey man, about how about you? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing wonderful. I'm glad that we're in 2022. That's wonderful. I mean, it, it really is. Um, I mean, I, I did. I've been waiting for a long time uh, for what screen to come out. I'm super excited. I don't watch you guys. Okay, so this part, uh, this next part right here, you're gonna have an overload on the top left platform. I don't usually push uh, any closer than that. I mean, I'm, I always like to be, what do you call it, a uh, passive player. Uh, I never like to rush in and always make sure my my uh, shots are are perfected. Uh, you know, it's just like. Right on. I mean, when you're doing a GM, uh, you, it's it's all about taking your time, making sure you have the right shot, and just having having fun. I don't know about you guys, but did I am excited, bro, uh, for Witch Queen. How about you guys? All right, give me a second. I'll read your message. I'm gonna focus on this guy right here. Okay, all right, let's see, Lair today, if you want, I'm down to two men, that GM, two men? Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I'll do it. Uh, just go ahead and uh, send me a uh, prime request. Uh, this is uh, my PSN. Uh, go ahead and uh, jot it down. Uh, my bungee names are right there. Yeah, yeah, if you want, uh, just uh, hit me up. I started bounty grinding yesterday, and I'm about halfway done with a hunter. Yeah, I, I started to grind, and uh, I have like about 150 uh, some bounties that I didn't need to cash in uh, for the Witch Queen, so you already added. I met you last week and then grasp uh, Avarice boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you probably met me, but uh, I mean, I, I play with a lot of people. Did, did you meet me on uh, LFG or what? That's probably where you met me. Yeah, uh, I, dude, I still have yet to get a chest piece. I, I got one chest piece uh, for my Warlock, but other than that, I've yet to get a chest piece for my, uh, what do you call it, um, my Hunter or my Titan. It's, dude, it's so hard to get a chest piece. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you stopping by. Thanks for uh, st sticking in that channel. Uh, I I love interaction with uh, you know people like me, um, my friends. Uh, I'm a happy guy. I mean, okay. So this is the next part right here after. It's gonna be a bunch of throw and uh, left hand section. 
so I'm not really worried about my main focus is to make sure I have all of the snipers uh, taken out. Uh, there's going to be an overload on the middle platform. Uh, he peeks every now and then. I walked over to the edge as, as far as I can get. And I'll just take him out from right here. You always want to make sure you always get all the snipers and then, uh, uh, and then the overload uh, out of the way before you even start pushing. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, when you do a GM, it's all about patience. I mean, it's all about having fun, patience, and having the correct loadout, subclass, and I mean, and, and having a great time. Okay, I'm working on my last overload, so. Yeah, my next uh, solo content that I'm working on right now. <clears throat> um, still working on the solo content for uh, Dares of Eternity. Right now, um, I'm working on a legend right now and I'm trying to perfect it. I get really close, but it's definitely hard to the fact because you have limited to the time when you're doing uh, Dares of Eternity. Once I perfect the uh, legend on Dare, I do want to do a live uh, stream on Dare. I would love that. But the problem with Dares is uh, it it's fun. Don't get me wrong. I I love it. The weapons are great, but it's it's not about that. That they give you like a certain amount of, of time to like get to the next encounter. You know, like if you kill all the ads, but uh, your timer goes off, and in a way, uh, yeah, you pretty much have to like, restart the encounter. That's the only thing I don't like about the areas. Other than that, it's it's just great. I love the armor, I love the halo weapons. It's 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 amazing. The dungeon, uh, Zer's treasure room. Uh, it's I I love the the thing about Zer's treasure room, and um, it's it's amazing. But do I think it's gonna stick around? I. I'd, I don't think it's gonna stick around. I mean, and do the fact because well, what was that uh, one content that that we had, where we were able? It's, it's something called Hall, and you're able to like uh, like activate statues and like uh, refill your your armor, your ammo and stuff like that. Well, I gotta be sh shopping. I'll, I'll see you later. All right, but all right, see you, buddy. Uh, thanks for something, but but yeah, um, they took that out of the game, and then I was kind of disappointed. I mean, Bungie makes good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but when they spend months making it, and then and they decide to take it out of the game and, and vault it, and it's kind of disappointing. I mean, I get that you gotta make room for like great content I get that almost fell by the way but um I get that to the, I get that to a certain point okay I'm trying to think here um, Well, that was kind of a waste of the Super River, but you never know, bro. You never know if 
you're gonna like uh like run into those little fell dudes. Okay, like this next part right here, definitely want to stay low to the ground. You didn't want to get any closer to this, otherwise, this guy's going to start handling it. Definitely don't want that. Okay, it's obvious I... Oh, I forgot. Arbalest, bro. Did I keep forgetting that Arbalest breaks their shield? I'm kind of new at the whole Arbalest thing. But it's it's actually pretty cool. It's, it's a goodbye auto rifle mod. Anti-barrier auto rifle mod because I'll never use it again. It takes so long to bust the shield. Now, whenever I go up against and like a uh, like an anti barrier, dude, I'm always gonna bring my uh, arbalist. Cause I mean, let's be real. Who wants to spend time on trying to break uh, anti barrier champion shield and waste the whole entire clip when you could just shoot one time with the arbalist? and bust their shield. I mean, it just, it's, it's amazing. I, I'm really loving the whole art of it. I like it a lot. Okay. So this next uh, encounter, is definitely gonna be kind of tricky. Uh, we're gonna have an overload and an unstoppable grouping up, hugging in uh, behind as well. Usually, uh, I'll like uh, shoot the unstoppable uh, right there, but just the fact because they always like to group up. Uh, sometimes your best bet, if they're grouping up like that, sometimes your best bet is to go alongside the edge, but don't go too far out because you'll definitely uh, fall off. Um, I'll always straight left and right along this little edge right here. And just uh, take your time uh, with that unstoppable, or uh, sorry, uh, overload. I mean, like I said, you always want to be aware of your surroundings and make sure you don't get too close. That way, you don't have to fall off the edge. Uh, this is always a good strat right here to the fact because uh, you can always uh, straight up left or right and balance yourself a lot. Uh, back and forth uh, from the rail and just like kick it back. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this guy out of the fact because he keeps hugging and the uh, unstoppable. I'm not really sure why they do that. Alright. Good to go. Okay, so uh, the only thing that we got is uh, just uh, unstoppable wall that's uh, pretty much uh, behind here. Okay, um, we're gonna burn them out. You don't have to worry about falling in because uh, there's no like little hole right there. So uh, usually what I'll do is I'll pop a well. I'm trying not to burn too much heavy because I got one last uh, um, stoppable uh, coming up.
That's weird. Okay, even though that Arbalist is uh, linear, uh, since it's a kinetic, it's not gonna highlight for unstoppable. I'm not sure why I don't want to, but. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna run around and see if I can find at least one more brick. I don't think I'm gonna find any more heavy. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to beat the unstoppable with six shots.
Dude, I am out of heavy. Yeah, backtrack. I think there's heavy back back here. Positive that there's I could be wrong though. Interesting. Definitely have a lot of special. Okay, so since I don't have heavy, um, definitely gonna have to burn this, uh, Once I get the uh, night out of the way, then I'll just burn the unstoppable.
putting my ear up against the wall that way I can make sure there's a back on that corner. No more unstoppables. To the right, it looks like we're gonna have one goblin, a knight, and an overload. I'll take one step at a time. Just gonna sit here until I get my grenade back. I love that sound. Amazing sound. I'll tell you what, the AI is like pretty crazy. It's so smart. Hey, what if you ever run out of matches and and, you, and you're going camping and what your family and friends? Definitely take this revenous knight because it could start a fire like that. 
<laughs> that, that guy is special is, is crazy, right? Well, I'm not sure if it's a, his is a special or if it's a super. I can't get a clean shot. Sounds like the knife's at the bottom on us, right? So hard to get a headshot with this guy. Because it's an overload right there. I'm gonna try that. He's always camping in that one corner though. Get a shot. Coming for you, buddy. Oh, 
So this overload is definitely kind of tricky because the base is uh, up and down our stairs. You never know where this overload is going to go. She definitely likes to power walk up and down the stairs. Imagine if um, we had a gun like him. Yeah, it'd have to be an exotic. Alright. Okay, so this uh, next encounter, we're gonna have a knight and a bunch of goblins uh, connected. Uh, my goal, my goal. <laughs> Uh, tongue twisted. Uh, my goal is to push up the stairs as fast as I can and pop my super. My goal is to burn this guy out before he burns me out. Now that he's out of the way, uh, okay, so uh, this next room is going to have a bunch of goblins and it's going to have a wizard that's void. Um, I don't really need to use my heavy to do the effects because I am running Arbulus and Arbulus can pretty much penetrate any type of shield, no matter if it's void, arc, or solar. Pretty much, uh, that's what I mean. That's what it's designed for. It's amazing. I think it'd be pretty cool if uh, they made a void arc and solar uh, bow. Um, that way, I, I, it'd be kind of like Borealis, but it'd be a bow. That would be amazing. Or if they made it on top of bow where it could just like break any shield dude i mean dude that'd be awesome that's what we need a bow to actually do that that that'd be that'd be pretty definitely cool so pretty much what you want to do is you want to uh, clear out all these ads. Some of the ads will be uh, in the corner right here. I don't ever throw a grenade to deal with the fact because it can, uh, like awake the wizard. And, uh, definitely don't want that. I always like the three peak, uh, right here because you never know where this wizard is going to be at. Once I know where she, where she ain't gonna be at, I'll just like uh, go on in here, make sure there's uh, no more ads. Okay, and now that the wizard's gone. I'm gonna come back here because I think there's a draw chase in me. Yep, there is. Alright, so the wizard is dead. I didn't have to use my heavy, but for some reason I did, and I don't know why. But here nor there, uh. The wizard is close. She ain't coming back. Okay, uh... When enter this room, you never want to go to the right. I mean, you could, but it's very dangerous. It's, uh... Your best bet is to follow the same path that, that I'm on. 
You're gonna have a, a, a blight wall that shoots right there. Pretty much want to hug this wall over here. Wait for it to pass. Come right here. Hug this wall right here. Wait for it to blight wall to shoot out. Once it does, want to move it forward. Okay, so uh, my last uh, solo uh, didn't pulse twice. Keep in mind before you even rush in, you always want to look and count the pulses on the wall. Um, so it looks like there's two pulses. There's going to be a hard pulse, and there's a hard pulse, and there's going to be a fast pulse. As soon as the fast pulse uh, comes around, want to get to this corner right here. Come up here. Wait for the pass. Okay, we're good to go. Head to the right because you don't want to get uh, stuck in that little hallway because the uh, overload can see you and um, will pick you off. Want to make sure you clear out this room. Okay, looks like all the throw again. Okay, uh, straight ahead, there's going to be a little blight wall. And uh, right above the blight wall, there's going to be an overload. It's hard to go for me right now, but that's all right. All right. You want to hug this wall, clear it to the left and right. My guy moves so slow. Want to make sure your shots are uh, landed directly on his head. I mean, it's where the most damage is. I mean, I could switch my heavy and throw a grenade, but I don't want to make this guy aggressive. Because then they start to bomb him at me. I don't want that, so I'm just gonna hit him with my uh, energy or er, bow, I'd say. I don't know why I called it an energy weapon. But, anyways, I'm gonna hit him with uh, my bow while I'm gonna take him out slow. Okay, and now that he's gone. Uh, you want to push it up these stairs. I'm going to throw a little, little grenade right up there. Let these guys burn out for a little bit. I think there is uh, still a little bit of throw in there, so... Yeah, there... Probably still a little bit of throw as it there. Take a quick peek. I must have burned them all out, but so we're gonna have a goblin uh, up on the ramp, but now he's shooting me. Uh, definitely the one to take up the goblin right here, just the fact because if he start engaging with the goblin, uh, the overload might pick you up from up to the ramp. Definitely don't want to do that. So your safest spot is going to be jumping over the blight, wait for it to pass, and just uh, get him, pick him up right here. Okay, and now that he's, I mean, he, I got him shooting in the right because he thinks I'm going to peek. So I'm, I'm just going to throw a quick grenade. I'm gonna let him burn out. Okay. Alright, so... Wow, I, I can't believe that grenade uh, killed all of those guys. Okay, so a I, I mean, like I have been explaining uh, in my last videos, uh, my friend likes it when I push uh, up in that little corner right there, but, uh, 
I don't like doing that to the fact because you never know when the next guy is going to be aggressive. So usually I'll stay right here. I'll pop a well right here. And I'll just wait for this guy to come out. So I'm just going to straight uh, back and forth. Left and right. I would just like to do one of those to do that because I, I feel like I'm more safe and secure than this little area right there. Bungie, do not do that to me. Okay, so yeah, I mean, just straight up left and right, and then you'll be fine. Okay, for one last champion, and he's gonna be up the ramp to the left, left a little bit. I uh, pretty much want to uh, pop a well to do whatever you need, and you just straight up uh, left to right, just to make sure you don't get caught up on the. Uh, the ramp itself. And just take your time taking this guy out. I mean, I, I would, oh my god, bro. Dude, I messed up. <laughs> Dude, I, I hit my back on that, that little uh, handrail or whatever. So it made me pause for a little bit. But yeah, once you find any mojo, uh, just straight left to right. Take him out. One last overload. Okay, that is all the champions. Fire. Appreciate you stopping by, X. How's your day? Okay, and now that we uh, have all the champions taken care of, I'm gonna wait for this guy to come out. Uh, kind of a little dangerous uh, because you never know because that the guy can. Uh, even though he hits uh, below this doorway with the fire and the boy bombs, you can just never know. Don't get it twisted. Uh, he can shoot his uh, his void and then his fire up here. So I, I'll throw like a couple of shots and I'll just wait for him and to cool down. And once he cools down, then I'll just uh, come out a little bit and then I'll just uh, wait for him to come out, if I can get him to come out. But now that he's done. I do have shit to loot, so I'll definitely have enough heavy and uh, enough uh, special for what I'm about to do. Okay, so now I think these guys are down. I'm just going to go up here. And I'm just going to shoot the black uh, to the point where I can get it like a one shot. It's going, man. I was looking up some tips and I saw you were actually live streaming. Here to see your stream. Awesome commentary. 
I should play it and explain. I right, thank you. I hope you, uh, you're having a great new year and I uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by. Yeah, I mean, uh, my friend uh, was telling me uh, that it'd be great to actually, when you do solo content, they actually have commentary and explain as you go. Uh, I I think it's a great, great thing, and you know, it's, it's awesome. So basically, uh, I don't want to destroy this flight. Um, I just want to take it down to the point where uh, someone wants a one shot. Okay, that that's good enough. Okay, so what I'm about to do, I can't do it quite yet due to the fact because uh, it's dark out. Uh, my vision ain't that great because I am 50 year old man. Uh, so I'm just gonna like chill right here and wait for uh, daylight. Maybe look at the stars. Because what I, I'm about to do is I uh, want you to do this, cheese. Uh, basically, when it gets light out, I'm going to jump on top of this uh, orange hose. From there, I'm going to jump up there. Over some up there. I'm going to go to the edge just a little bit to the left. And when I'm on top of that ramp, I'm going to look up. And what I want to do is when you jump up, you want to press up on your left uh, control stick and you just want to basically hold up on your stick and make sure you're secure on the ledge. Once, once you're secure on the ledge, you got to look to your right a little bit and jump out to the right up on top of this. Once you're on the top of that, then you got to want to run from like here over to here to like right there along that edge. That's where I'm gonna be at. That's where you land, do your final uh, land. Once you're up there, uh, keep in mind, uh, the only grenade in the game, as far as I know, that could bust a blight is the solar uh, grenade. As long as you're uh, shooting it on top of this blight right here, you'll bust a blight. But keep in mind, you wanna, uh, get the blight to the point where it's almost damaged. Once it's almost damaged, then you just like uh, want to throw your grenade and land it right there inside that little hole, and then it'll it'll be ready to bust. But other than that, I'm just gonna like chill, relax, you know. I'm gonna wait until daylight. It is a kind of beautiful sight to the fact because, I mean, I do like the day and night GMs because, I mean, I love looking up at the stars. Even though it's a game, and in reality, I still like looking up at the stars. I mean, it's, it's the best sight ever in life. Um, whether if you're gaming or go outside, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the sky is beautiful. Lights up. So I guess I should just like chill. That's crazy, though. Know? I'm super excited to get this on. So uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. What I want to do next, I I think I'll do uh, Yilton next for a solo. I never did Yilton with uh, Lake of Shadows. Also, uh, keep in mind, uh, I am running in a Warmind build. Uh, global reads for my helmet. Uh, basically, uh, that makes the, the distance greater. Upon explosion, uh, I'm running an unstoppable and overload bow, and then I'm running burning cells. Basically, when you uh, throw your grenade, it burn your grenade burns a little bit longer. I think it's like three to four seconds longer than actually 
burn up at. Uh, and Rage of the War Mine, uh, pretty much, it's, it's almost like a new drum bomb going up. Uh, double the explosion. And then, uh, Wrath of Wrath Speed, and I believe it has a chance to, to, to create a, another War Mine itself. Um, the reason why I chose, uh, Dunk Chorus because when you pair this up with the War Mine cells, uh, you burn enough effects on Daybreak, which it says right here, they last longer than you deal some more damage. Uh, the reason why I chose the bottom tree, uh, Dawn Blade, for a simple reason, if I miss my landing, uh, I could easily uh, hold down the circle on my controller and I'll have a safe landing. I don't have to worry about dying. It's just, it's, it's awesome. I mean, Phoenix died, maybe if you're doing a solo, is a way to go. Because if you happen to jump up really high and you're afraid of dying, uh, this is a way to go for me next time, I will away. Oh, um, and then, um, we're running the RB list. The reason why I'm running the RB list is because it breaks, uh, pretty much any type of, uh, shield, whether it's solar arc or void, uh, shield, it just, it's like, busts it. <laughs> I mean, one or two outside. I mean, it, it's awesome. Uh, and then, then I'm using, a uh, shoot the loot. Uh, pretty much when I run low on my special or heavy, I did just find whatever the ammo I'm running low on, I shoot it, and it returns it right back in my uh, magazine. And for reserves is also. And then I got Frenzy, uh, which is awesome. Uh, you know, extends the extended time for my damage to uh, have really good reload speed and handling it, and it's really good. Uh, the mods that I chose on this so is uh, Taken Spec. Uh, basically, any time you use a uh, Taken Spec mod, it increases the damage on uh, whatever weapon that you turn to put it on. Uh, same thing with the uh, third in any level running field prep. As long as I'm crouching, uh, I re my reload speed is, is like super fast. And, and I love it. Uh, the same thing with uh, Forensic on my th Threaded Needle, uh, I, I mean, I love it. And then the uh, uh, mod that I'm running on my Threaded Needle, of course, also taking spec. So uh, all together, I mean, I think I got a really good build. Okay, we got Daylight coming. Jump up over here. We're going to jump up over here. I did this a little orange. Uh, thing. Come on over with this ledge right here. You don't want to get uh, too close. So uh, you get evidently you're going to fall off. You want to look up. Like I said, uh, when you uh, look up, and a lot of people like to look up. Me, I don't like look, looking up because I don't want to mess up my jump. So I'm going to jump up. I'm going to hug the wall. Once I'm up here, Okay, now, I mean, I, I can look around, but I don't really want to. Now that I'm up here, I will want to jump out to the right. Okay, you want, once you do that, you want to run over here, because you are on a timer. Okay, now that we're up here, I'm just going to uh, keep in mind when I do... Uh, Take out the blight, I'm gonna pop my super bear, I'm gonna damage the boss a little bit. We're gonna have uh, some knights uh, come out. Uh, after when the knights come out, you definitely do not wanna, like if you're over on this side, or wherever you go, you definitely don't wanna keep shooting uh, right here. Because if you do, the knight is gonna uh, know exactly where you're shooting from, and you're gonna, we end up going back to orbit, bit and you really don't want to. Uh, when you're always up here, you always want to rotate. Never shoot twice in the same spot. You always want to be on the go. 
Okay, all right. So uh, to get this flight down, you want to uh, aim your bow up or your weapon or whatever you're holding. Aim it up a little bit, and you want to throw your grenade, and then let it pretty much hit that hole. So it might take like a couple of uh, grenades. Uh, looks like maybe two grenades. But I'm just going to like chill right here, relax, until I get my other grenade. I love that email. I want to, uh, you want, I mean, when you're up here, I mean, it is pretty cool. I mean, it is a really good cheese spot, but keep in mind, like I said, uh, I mean, you got daylight and you got darkness, you know, and you want to, Try to burn this guy as fast as you can because once it gets the nighttime, you are not going to be able to see where you're moving. I mean, and that's why you want to burn this guy real quick and just get him out of here as fast as you can. Okay, he's, he's coming out. I'm going to pop my super on him. I'm just going to burn him. I mean, like I said, you always want to uh, rotate all of the time. I mean, you can never... want to get to this guy that's satisfaction knowing where you're at. I could take damage on uh, the boss if I want to, but I tend to save the boss for damage for the last because of my main goal when I'm up here I want to find out where this knight is at and I, I want to stop him in his tracks because I, I don't want him hammering me when I'm up here once the knight's out of the way that then we can start focusing in on the, on the boss itself but like I said never ever want to stay in the same place or shoot more than once Here the knight knows I'm over there. I'm gonna rotate. See the reason why I. I I do my, my, my email is because I basically, uh, I'm three peaking. I want to know exactly where that night is at. When they spawn in, there's going to be two sets of nights. Okay. Uh, you definitely want to take out those nights right away. When you kill, keep in mind, when you kill one night, that other knight is going to go back to his normal spot. And as long as you don't provoke him, uh, he's not going to shoot at you. But if you want to take him out, he's definitely going to be startled. He's going to say, oh, you know what? This guy's shooting me. I'm going to shoot him back. But no, a lot of people don't understand that. You just take out one knight, that other knight's going to go uh, back to where he's originally uh, is based at. So... I mean, I mean, like I said, I'm going to throw my grenade right there. And right now, I'm going to let it do some damage. My grenade is, keep in mind, I am running down towards my grenade. It is going to kick on top of Frenzy. So that means my burner flash is going to last longer on top of my uh, damage output.
I mean, keep it more. I do, I do like the email glitch because I want to know exactly where these guys are at. I mean, and that and that's a whole part of the reason why I like three peaking. I mean, it's just amazing. Okay. Once I know where all the ads are at, then I'll have a really good understanding where I could throw in my grenade. I know I know it's kind of hard to uh, see where these dudes are, but I mean, like like I said, I'm not worried about putting damage on the boss. My main goal is to get these knights out of here. I mean, like I said, when you throw your grenade, you want to rotate. You don't want to stay in the same place where you throw your, uh, your grenade. And you definitely don't want to do that. Because if you stay in the same spot where, where you threw your grenade, well, they're, they're, that's where they're going to think you're still at, and then they're going to hammer you. You don't want that. When you throw your grenade or shit or whatever, rotate. Definitely a must. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to rotate because I hear it the night under under me. Okay, so trying to look for the night. Okay, that night, that's right there. So keep in mind, like I said, I do have a Don Chorus. My burn effects is just gonna do a lot of damage, and my grenade is gonna burn twice as long. I mean, you can see all the damage that it's doing right now. I mean, Don Chorus is really good. It really is. Don't get it twisted. It is really good. Because that, that grenade can burn forever. It's kind of hard to see... Uh... Dude, is, is that a night elevator? I can't really tell. I can't tell. That looks like a night right there. Or is that a thorough light? Yeah, I definitely can't tell. Okay, now that they you know I'm on the good side, I'm gonna rotate. I mean, I... Oh. I don't like to shoot more than twice uh, in the same vicinity due to the fact because they could have hammered me any time. Okay. Okay, now that I know where these guys are at, I'm not sure if, if I hit any of them. Yeah, I didn't. I missed my grenade. Ah, shucks. <laughs> Dude, I was gonna hammer all, all kinds of those guys. Okay, yeah, yeah. Looks like. Okay, they're they're shooting in the right, so now I'm gonna rotate to the left. I'm always just gonna keep low. No, I'm just gonna keep uh, emoting. That way, yeah, I know exactly where these uh, clowns are at. I'm gonna start calling on taking clams. You know, that I just like to hide. It looks like, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have. Okay, so the knight's in the middle. I joined in on the red side. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Arthur, appreciate it. Hope everybody that came into my stream is having a wonderful year. 
Thank God for 2022 because uh, we got Witch, Witch Queen coming around on the corner. Uh, you know, and you know, like I was trying to tell a bunch of people, is uh, yeah, I'm loving in the whole content right now. I mean, we've got a new Halo weapon and stuff like that. We got artifice armor, but the real question is, are we gonna have artifice armor uh, for the Witch Queen? Uh, um, uh, gear. I mean, that. I I think in my heart, I, I think that that we're gonna have artifice armor for a witch queen gear. I I I think it's a new gear that's been brought to the Bungie community, and it it's amazing that we have an extra slot. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with the artifice armor, and I'm kind of hoping with the witch queen gear that that does it when it comes out on the 22nd of February. Kind of hoping it. That the new Witch Queen gear has artifice armor. That would be cool because artifice armor would pair up great with that new <laughs> armor. It's it's that's amazing. I, I like it. I mean, like I said, uh, you never want to uh, do a more than one or two shots. Uh, you do two shots, then and it's it's automatic must. You gotta rotate it. And with me having down course, like I said, it's gonna have that that improved damage, it's gonna have a longer burn effect and then I mean yeah, I mean I, I love everything about down course. I mean like I said I jumped up for a reason because I want the knights to recognize where the last spot that I was at and I want them to focus on that one one side. So like I said, you never want to do more than two shots uh, on an east side. I mean, you can, but you're risking it for the biscuit because, if that, because you never know when one that knight's going to happen. Never know. Oh, yeah. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm just going to emote the fact because I want to know exactly where these guys are. So the night is uh, like right under the left side that it's actually firing from. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait till I get my grenade back and I'm just going to kill them all with uh, my grenade. So it looks like there's two knights. On on the left side. I'm gonna check the right side. It's unlucky if we got anything. Almost got my grenade. Friends, he's just kicking in. It's gonna last for a little bit. It's still burning. And I love everything about shoot the boot. It's gonna be really good. I mean, like I said, that that burn effect, the gun course, it's amazing, bro. As long as it's got that burn effect, it, it, it's gonna last for a long time. It's amazing. I mean, dude, whoever thought of drone course, I love him. I. Actually, love the guy. I mean, it's it's pretty impressive. Whoever thought of it, that is uh, exotic talent. I mean, uh, I love it. 
Okay, it looks like I killed everybody. Okay, we got one knight that's already on the platform, and we're looking to kill this one at a time. So now that I don't have my grenade, I'm just gonna hit him with the RB this. I'm gonna try it now. Oh, he definitely don't like that. Okay, so even though I threw my grenade on that side, I, I don't want to go back to that red side due to the fact that because that knight is going to be looking up where I shot last, and I definitely don't want to be on that side. Like I said, yeah, I always want to rotate. Okay, that knight is right, right up below me. He's just chilling like a villain, bro. Dude, look at this guy. He, he does not have a clue where I'm at. So I'm just gonna wait until I get my grenade. Dude, it's almost go time. Almost go time. I'm gonna melt this boss like real quick. I mean, like I said, okay, taking knights down, but uh, they're all shooting in the right, so that's uh, uh, definitely want to rotate. Now that I don't have to worry about uh, that one take a night, the other take a night is going to be on this platform. Now it's go time I'm on, on the boss. I'm going to wait for him to go in the middle. I'm going to fire a couple shots in the middle to the back because if you do that, you usually nine times out of ten, it's going to go off where, where you shot last. Oops. I'm gonna pop my super on him. We're gonna get ready for the next set of ads. Okay, we're gonna rotate to the other side. Okay, so even in no, you got the you got the knight right there on the left hand side. You got the knight right there on the right hand side, and keep in mind, mind there should be yep there should be a knight right there right, right below. So what we're going to do is we're not going to attack none of these knights because the minute you engage with these knights. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hot and heavy up here, and you don't want that. Your main focus and goal, goal is just uh, to focus on the boss. Don't worry about the knights. Okay, I'm going to rotate. Okay, he knows I'm on the left side. So I'm gonna rotate it. Oh my god. I missed a couple shots. Okay. Take him when we rotate. Yes, he's just gonna assume that I'm still on the right side when I'm not. Always be aware of what's coming out. It's all of your last and final 
phase of your encounter is going to be a bunch of goblins that are going to be linked up. The easiest way to do uh, this, uh, now that you see it done on the left side, I don't need to rotate. So the easiest way to get around this, instead of using your other weapons, uh, like I said, it pairs great with Don Cores. Just burn them out, you know? I mean, it, uh, that's the best way. I mean, that Don Cores will just like burn for a couple seconds. I mean, dude, look at that damage, bro. Look at that damage. It's like the fourth of the July, bro. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're just gonna use my Arbalus to finish the guy off. The guy I think I'm still on the left hand side. Come on. Oh yeah, this guy does not have a clue, does it? Again. Finish him off. Bada boom. Bada bang. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad for Pivetiki. Uh, I mean, it takes me a couple of hours to get it done, but hey, baby. Boom. All day platinum. All day. Like I said, I am not a speedrunner. I take my time. I want to sight see. Have a great time. Have a great GM. And make sure I get the platinum. That's all I care about. Yeah, platinum all day. Let's go.